I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although... Not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah, See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For, uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh. Hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Righto, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, 
You should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Ah, uh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> Ugh, so freaking cute! So, the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. This has been great. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and... Living in the coolest town in the whole world, Beacon Town! that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there adventuring? That's good, too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, <laughs> too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. You craving seafood? Always. Why? Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, 
A blank canvas.
That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh, Wink! Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Huh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. pig that ever lived. <sighs> Miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. Saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yeah, it's me. What are you doing here? Oh, wow. This is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. Raised all of them myself. Definitely Esteban. He's got the most intelligent face. Really? I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic! Congratulations! <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye! What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse! Wow! Hi! And just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Doesn't fit? I think it's perfect. Oh, wow! Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. <clears throat> Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Ah, 
Hello, Jesse. Excuse me, uh, ma'am? Thank you. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. I mean, founding day is all about how you took down the wither storm and all. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh. I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? <laughs> ah! <sighs> Stupid zombie. <sighs> I missed this. <coughs> Smell? Not so much. <laughs> Look at that, you finally made it on time for once. Looking a little rusty, though. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Yeah, I guess it has been a while since I've done this. Well, that's obvious. You're not even wearing a good suit of armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff. So what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Look alive. These deadheads should help you dust off those cobwebs. <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. your sorry butt, huh? I gotta say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job, or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Oh, come on. You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh... Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three... Axel has boomtown duties. 
Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, that's a little harsh. They've just got their own lives now. I get it. Well, I don't. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait! What? It's monster hunting time! Hey, it's Jesse! What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> Perfect. I'm starving. Hey, I was gonna eat that! Obviously. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Ah. <sighs> Woo! All right, where'd you go? Where'd what go? down there so you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing nope the mystery is what makes it fun come on ah. <sighs> <sighs> Woo. all right where'd you go Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So, you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun! Come on! Oh, yeah! In your face! Uh, 
Petra! Petra! You're number one! You're number one! <sighs> okay. Maybe I didn't win, but that still felt awesome getting back out there. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <coughs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? All right. Hey there. Llama? Come here, girl. Good llama. Uh. <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... <laughs> Come on, let's get after that armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Llama, llama, where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. I've told you, I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? down now. What 
What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Oh, girl. What is it? Some sort of glove. Or a gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Too bad it didn't come with an instruction manual. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. <laughs> okay, ow, wow, stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Yeah, maybe it was down here waiting for me. Okay, that's just unsettling. Uh oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? I don't care whether we can see the bottom or not. We need to cover it up now. Right. What is that? I'm not sure. But I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but in here. Not getting out the way we came, though. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? Sure, yeah, that works. Okay then, <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. And you trust this guy? 
Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. We have to do something about that... that... heck mouth. We already did. It's totally sealed up. You did the sign. Can't we talk about this after I bring her back? Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... kinda got tricked. By this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And... Now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's... uh... It's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. I can't believe this person tricked you. That's terrible. And so unfair. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama. Her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. You're one of my best friends. And it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry. We're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back. Sort out that heck mouth and... Get this thing off my hand! Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. Wow, this is super impressive. Good layout, great colors. If you're into that sort of thing. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I don't know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. I know that in your head you've got her built up as this big, terrible person, but she can't be that bad. We'll work it out. <laughs> Clearly you haven't met her yet. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you think you like that one, but... You. Oh, Luna, my darling! You came home. You came back. 
Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City? Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh, boy. Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Oh, I really wish I could. Really. But I can't. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh, well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Of oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Easy puppies. See? You like bones, right? Stella's treasure room? Yeah.
trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Wow, that actually makes me kind of sad. She thinks that all it takes is having a room full of treasure. Even if you got it from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero! You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources! You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Come on, Petra, do you really think that's fair? We have lives. I have a whole town depending on me. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't. You might have a point. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Shh! Check it out! That's right! It's Patra! Armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter! Hiya! Ah, this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen! <laughs> By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together they can take on. Oh, hi! Hello. Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Just hand over the sword, Stella. Don't make me get tough here. Fine! Fine. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. Rah! It feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, you were clearly in way over your head. I had to step in. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I was. What is that? That should be impossible! Tell them that! Cheap sword! I got you covered, Jesse! So good to have you back! No, you don't. Ugh. Woo! That would have been dumb if it 
wasn't so awesome! Come on, we need to get this thing covered up again. going to get this to hold. That heckmouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jax fast. Yeah. I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. You still hang out with me, though? Well, yeah. But that's because I knew you when you were still just a nerd in a treehouse. Don't take it personally, dude. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy... Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Ah, ah. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra? Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff, too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean, what's up? You push the button. Very, very brave. Thanks for noticing. I am very brave. Always good to see a hero that knows their own worth. <gasps> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me 
Jack. So cool. So awesome to meet you. Love your shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. Uh, uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did, huh? You can, can't you? <sighs> Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah. And it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit... It's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine. Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no. No problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay. So how about you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us. Be our guide. No. I'd never go back there again. <sighs> Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... Kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. No. I'm the one the Apex Hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. 
That knowledge is my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Hmm. Oh, you have no idea. Jack, I get that you're haunted by horrible memories, but that's no reason to sit around moping. What'd you say? It's time to get us some treasure and help you face your demons. Yeah! Well, that sounds to me like a challenge. And no one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado. Me. And gets away with it. Yeah? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know. It's amazing. Almost too good to be true. Ah! Yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Oh yeah! You've been very cool. Very natural. I'm trying really hard. But I was feeling really good about it back there. Wow. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin's... Ah, mm -mm. oh, fine. What'd he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nermy. Don't blow a gasket. What's got you so excited about this one? Uh, I'll explain on the way. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? You're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Portland. Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on. I need to make a quick pit stop, and I can show you some real armor. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake-baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the Firework Union. Understandable. The delegate from Radar. Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it. Why didn't Radar. I factor in rehearsal? Ah, sorry. Got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends, and a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, an, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! Radar, I think the town will be fine for one adventure. Petra and I need to do this. Okay. If you really say so. Well, um, best of luck. I'll be anxiously awaiting your return. Sure. <laughs> um, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <sighs> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. Yeah? You ever fought a wither storm? Or the old builders? Well, yeah, uh, well, uh, no, not specifically those, but, uh, you know, I did stuff. Wanna cool the ego there, Jesse? Jack's done some amazing stuff, too. Hey, 
Wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No, no. I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Shield of Infinity. I love how regal this one looks. I feel like Ivor might have been running out of ideas when he named it, though. Very nice. You look like one of the tree slashers of Gulung Bay, and that's very high praise. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen. With the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. I appreciate it. I mean, it's pretty big of you. Hey, look, I really meant it. Ah, it really is big of me, isn't it? Okay. Now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So, where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh, shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Yeah, I love doing that move. It's the best. Oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. Hey, that sounds really cool. I can't wait either. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hmm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. So, this temple, it's dangerous then? 
You don't have any sponge in your ears, do you? Yeah, this place is super dangerous. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... The Sea Temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Then what are we waiting for? That's the spirit. Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. sure that we all have our limbs, how about we find that structure block? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Those things are creepy. Carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep. Completely unique. No one's quite sure why. But you'll never have an experience like this. I, uh, I'm gonna need a sec. 
just to check my enchantments. Yeah, gotta make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Ooh, whoa, it's uh, got me. Like, uh, frozen in place. I know it's pretty intense, but you don't have to be scared, Jack. But this is way harder than I thought it would be. Oh, boy. You're going to be okay. You're right. Thanks, Jesse. Guys, hey, I found something! Uh, be right there! Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? I mean, she's cool. Really? Yeah, and she's a great adventurer. I don't want her to think, um, some has-been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Come on, Jack, you're tougher than this. Buck up! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm freaking Jack. Nothing can stop me. There you go. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Just remember what we talked about, right, Jack? Yeah, right. You're right. Blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. We've got guardian fish and floating water blocks. Water. Floating in mid-air? That should be impossible. Oh. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Oh. oh, you won't listen to me anymore. Guys. Yeah, but what if it is real? The admin, I mean. <sighs> Trapped down here with a bunch of soft-headed shulkers. Oh. Well... I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Jack, is that a dark prismarine? Or something like it. Okay, those sponges might be just the thing to soak up the water and leave the Guardians high and dry. Right, so we're going to use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the Guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Petra, I know you can do this. Jack and I will grab the sponges. Cool. I'm on it. Okay, everyone. Let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go! Hey, Scaleheads! Zap this! Come on, Jack. No, no. 
Snappy. Jack? Jack? Jesse? We've got a Jack problem. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack? Jack, are you okay? I thought you had this. No. I'm, I'm not okay. I didn't deserve our awesome cool guy handshake before. Hmm. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure block's gotta be close. How are you doing over here? Okay. I can't stop thinking about what happened with Jack. Yeah? Just... If I saw your inventory piled down here, I don't think I'd be handling it much better than he is. Jack, you okay? Don't really feel like being talked to right now, Jesse. I'm brooding. Jack, right? He'll be okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'll get back to this. Hmm. Dark Prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. At least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table. Turn. Nice.
Ooh, Prismarine. I was just looking at that door, and I don't think that's what we need here. Maybe try a sea lantern? Oh, right. Here. Looks like some sort of pattern. The tides! I'm finally free! <laughs> it has... It has been a very, very long time. Vars! Jack! <laughs> Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Hmm... Wait, you're an adventurer? Oh, yes! But not all adventurers are sword swingers, you know? Anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh. Excellent! Excellent! Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. She has her moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh, 
I'd really like to see the sun shine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. We're already this far, Voss. It's too far to turn back now. Yup. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh, more of those weird statues. At least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Zombies. Okay, guys. Structure blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just... a feeling, I guess? I feel like this is important. But I don't really know why. doing okay? I don't like any of it, Jesse. It's giving me a bad feeling. And my instincts are better than nine ocelots tied together. Oh, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Just like old times, buddy. Man, these are bright. Love it! Hey, Nurm. Think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. <sighs> Nurmi says, they say, once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the Admin, ugh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. Again, but the admin saw there were no more heroes worthy of his challenges so we left this world until the next great heroes emerged can't believe you buy into this stuff that's obviously just the cop-out way of saying he never really existed huh
This must be it. It's gotta be. Look, that symbol. It looks just like the one we saw underground. The structure block. <laughs> Nurm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Hmm. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. What? Fascinating! Yeah. But what does it all mean? Still figuring that out. Hmm. <laughs> Nurm says that one's the Tower of the Warrior. Wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. <laughs> says that's the wall of the builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. Sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? Got it. Now, if only our way out wasn't blocked by all those freaky soldiers. Perhaps they went away? I'm guessing no. <gasps> there are so many of them. Stay behind me, Nerm!
block goes. This 
works. Is everyone okay? Looks all clear. Yeah, I think so. That's right, folks. In a stunning victory, Jesse has taken down the Heckmouth. You said it, Bob, and the crowd goes wild. Oh, Jesse! Jesse! Oh, what do you know, Jesse? You really did it. Huh. Yeah. I guess I did. Think that's really the end of it? Huh. Certainly looks that way to me. Then come on. Let's go home, you guys. Oh! <laughs> this is more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone. Happy Founding Day. Oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. Oh, thank goodness you're back. It has been chaos. I knew this would happen if no one was left in charge. There's no schedule. Everyone's running around unorganized. There are animals everywhere. Huh. That your way of telling me you wish I'd left you in charge? What? No! I mean, I mean, I mean, no. Oh, way too chaotic for me. So, did you find what you were searching for? It's just like I'm always telling people. Teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks to all my friends, we brought this amazing new treasure back. There's nothing we can't do together! Happy Founding Day, everyone! You're welcome. They really liked it. Yeah, they did. Guess you've still really got it. Yeah, other than having half the number of eyes I had when we left, I'd call that a rousing success. Yeah, that part's not the best. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. I thought it was your bad eye. It was. But my bad eye was still at least four times as great as most good eyes. Oh, Jack! I... Uh... Oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Voss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? In a little bit. I'm still hanging with Jesse for now. I'm going to do about you, though. Jesse. What's that? Whoa, you dudes heard that too, right? Yes, terrifying. Yeah, what was it?